Hey what's up guys and welcome to a brand new video on the channel today and in today's video we will be rebuilding SL Benfica to their previous Champions League glory. Benfica are only one of 13 clubs to win the Champions League more than once which includes teams like Real Madrid, Chelsea, uh, Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. Today we're going to rebuild Benfica to try and bring them back to Champions League success. Make sure to leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, comment, rebuild, or challenge, uh, like Karimo challenge videos, suggestions in the comments, because I'm, I'm really enjoying these type of videos that I'm making, um, something different on the channel compared to like a standard Karimo series. So if you do enjoy or have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and thank you for the support on the previous video, the one we did with QPR. Um, the first type of video I tried to do uh, in this sense, and it went down really well with people and uh, people seem to enjoy it. So without further ado, we're going to go straight into this one with Benfica. The goal is to obviously try and win the Champions League. We're going to try and aim for two Champions Leagues like they have done in real life already. And then we'll just try and do all the league, league and cup uh, competitions as well. So make sure to leave a like. Let's get into the video. Right then guys, as you can see here, this is the team that we are starting with. Obviously, I've had a couple of preseason games, which I'm not going to bore you with. But um, yeah, this is kind of the squad we're looking at. So, I mean, the keeper, not too bad. 21 years old. We got. I've noticed that's a lot of young players in this squad, which is kind of a good thing. If you want to kind of take this rebuild to the, um, you know, 10 plus years. So uh, the right back, I think is fine. Silva is obviously going to stay. Uh, Morato, I think again another one who's and he's only 22. He'll stay. Joao Mario and Di Maria. Now they are the two veterans in the side, but I think I'm gonna try and buy a new left mid and right mid to replace them. I might keep Mario and Di Maria in the squad for, or in the starting eleven for the first season and see how we get on. Uh, Neves, who seems to be quite the popular player that people were trying to buy him already, which I'm obviously rejecting. Uh, he'll be staying. Guedes, I think, will be starting up front for now. I think for this season, we'll, we'll keep the striker options that we have. And next season, we'll try and buy a, a, a big name player. So I think for the positions, we're going to probably try and get a centre forward, maybe a and a left mid, right mid, and probably a left back. I mean, he's only 22, but I kind of think maybe a left back and maybe a right back. But I think for now, a left mid, right mid, centre forward, and maybe a defender to add to the team. So I'm going to go through the first transfer window of the... Uh, the season in the summer and i'll show you who we've sold and who we have signed so i'll be right back now that comes to the end of the first summer window in this rebuild as you can see on the screen this is gonna be our transfer history for the summer window so we did start off with selling rafa for 30 million to aston villa i mean 30 million for 30 year old i could have probably used them for a season but to be honest i'd rather take the money we then went and spent 11 million on ganacho to play left wing we brought in uh, Quineros uh, for, well, for free. He was a free agent. Um, I thought, you know what, free agent, bring him in. And we actually used him further down the line. So, Kerkez is the next one that came in at left back. Like I said in the previous part, I did think that maybe a left back or right back was needed to improve the team. As well as a left winger. That's why we decided to bring in Ganacho and him. Nonto was the next player to bring in from Leeds. Another £10 million spent. He was actually meant to play right mid, which is why he, he can play left mid, right mid, or up front. So I thought he's quite versatile So and he's young. So we'll bring him in, play right mid. Uh, he'll be swapping and changing with Joao Mario across the first season. Uh, we sold um, Chiquinho for £6.5 million to PSV. He's 28. I didn't really th see him in my plans, to be honest, because uh, we've, got two, well, we've got three young lads that play centre mid already so i didn't really want to change that so he's uh, i sold him uh broby we now signed we signed him he was worth like 30 million and as you can see 12 and a half million plus as you can see like i said before we mentioned that we used the free agent that we signed for nothing and used them as part of that deal so i think that's a great uh, bit of business there because uh Quineros is about like i think 26 28 i'm not sure um, but Broby's 21 and we got him for fairly cheap. Bove is the next signing. 10.4 million from Fiorentina. He is actually at Roma, so I guess Fiorentina signed him and then sold him to us. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Malo Gusto is the next player in. Because 
I was actually, I accepted like a 35 million pound bid for the right back that we currently have. So in the last minute of the deadline day, I bid for Gusto, signed him. Turns out the right back didn't even sell because they the transfer talks uh, broke down. So Gusto came in for 3.2 million plus. Uh, I think he's a center mid. Uh, Aru Aruzenez? Arunez? <laughs> Arunez? I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm really bad with names. Anyway, we we sold him because, again, we've got so many young players that kind of start for us that are centre mid. So that's why we brought in both another young one. So what I'll do is show you the squad for these, the first couple of games of this, well, the first season. So um, we, we kept the same keeper. He is only 22. Uh, so I thought we'd best keep him. Bar, this was the one that we were going to sell. Turns out he... Um, yeah, they, they just didn't get the deal done in time. So he's going to stay and be our starting right back. Gusto will come in eventually. Um, we'll just swap between the two. Uh, Silva, again, not going anywhere. Uh, Morato, he was one that kept getting bidded on. And I didn't really want to sell him because he's only, I think, 22 as well. He was going to replace Otamendi, but Otamendi's already gone down one rating. I know it says plus one on his name, but he's already gone down from 82. So I thought I'd put him straight into the team. Kerkez, he goes straight into the side at left back. Ganacho goes straight in at left wing. Uh, we got Koku. He didn't actually start, to be honest. Uh, that Florentino started, but he's 22 and is already 82 rated. So I thought I may as well put him in next to Neves, who everyone was trying to buy, the 18-year-old. I think he'll be flying up the ratings this season. Joao Mario is out on the right. Di Maria is up, uh, just behind the striker, who is Broby. I think I might put Willy Nonto in there. And do it like that. So that's the bench. The bench is capable enough to help out. And then obviously the reserves. We've got so many youth players who I should really probably try and loan out. But for the first season, this is going to be the squad. What we're going to do in this type of video. In last se uh, last um, episode with the QPR one, I did simulate to January. But we're actually going to simulate the whole season this time. Just so it doesn't take up too much time. Uh, and we'll go from there. So... We're going to simulate to the end of the season. Let's see where we finish in the league, the Cups, and more importantly, the Champions League. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Right then, guys. As you can see, we are here at the last game of the season. We're going to go over to the uh, calendar of the standings, and we are sat fourth in the league, which is not great um, because that means we do not qualify for Champions League football next season because we're outside the... We're not first, pretty much. So 33 games, 19 wins, 7 draws, 7 losses. I mean, Porto absolutely smashed it. So did Sporting, to be fair. They're on the same points. Now, that is not what you want to see. Let's go look at the competitions, though. So the final, we got to the cup final in the Portuguese league, which is good. I will I will probably well, we'll simulate that at the end of the season. We've got one more league game to play. Uh, what else did we... I want to check the standings again. So... Super Cup, no. Champions League, where did we finish? I don't know if we even got out of the group stage. We finished third in the group stage behind Sociedad and Inter. So obviously we went into the Europa League. Where where did we get to? So we got knocked down by PSV on an aggregate of 4-2. Who they now play Bayern Munich in the semi-finals. Who are already 3-1 down. So didn't, do, didn't get out of the group stage in the Champions League in the first season. Which is not ideal. Obviously... Set a Europa League, we didn't get as far as we would have liked. So we've got the last game of the season now. Hopefully we can win this. And then we also have the cup final, which again, even though we haven't really... Uh, let's just rotate uh, Di Maria around. Uh, we could put Joao Mario there, surely. I think he can fit in there. Ganacho could probably do the rest as well. Anyway, so yeah, not ideal... And I didn't mean to press play, so I'm going to have to play this game. And I'll have to come back to you guys when we score some goals. So let's see how we get on. Hopefully we can win the last game of the season and finish in fourth. Which, again, is not ideal. Because obviously we want Champions League football. But we have the cup final, which we also will have at the end of this season. So let's see how we get on in this last game of the season. Here comes Nonto now on the right-hand side. Squares it back to Joao Mario. Joao Mario. Oh, how did he miss? How's Joao Mario missed that? What a chance that was for him. Nonto now on the ball inside. Joao Mario gets a second chance and he scores. Top corner for Joao Mario. It's a great finish from him. And we see ourselves 1-0 up inside the first 10 minutes. 
Great bit of play from Nonto and João Mario there. 1-0 up. Here come the opposition. It's saved. Oh, it can't be off the line. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, what is that? I, d I didn't really expect it. The defenders have gone the wrong way. The keeper's made a save. Oh, he's bounced it into the back of the net. It's now 1-1. One, one. João Mario's won the ball back here. Should be able to square this through to Broby. Can he finish it? Oh, he can. It's 2-1 to Benfica. It's a great, great counter-attack from João Mario and Broby there. Lovely, lovely bit of attacking. João Mario was there. Won the ball back from the defender who kind of misplaced his touch. Finished it into the bottom corner there to make it 2-1 to Benfica. On the opposition now. Ball squared. Oh, it's a goal. It's another, another equaliser. We've got a goal up and a goal down. It's 2-2 now. Oh, the ref's given a penalty in the 86th minute to the opposition. Oh, God. That was poor defending from me. I thought I was outside the box when I took the tackle. I can't lie. Oh, he's chipped me down the middle. Wow. The AI has chipped me down the middle in the 87th minute. Oh, it's not what you want to see. That is not what you want to see. we got like three minutes left of the game to try and salvage something. Don't think we will be able to do that. Di Maria on the ball. That wide to Nonto. Gonna play it inside. Still got the ball. Oh, what is that? Oh, I can't believe the AI's just done that to me. Nah, I don't. Yeah, it's game over. The season's over. Not a great season in the league, to be honest. If we're finishing fourth, it's not what you want to see. Let's go look at the end of the final day in the league. The standings is not what you want to see. Obviously, uh, this is the last game of the season in the cup. Benfica, we finished fourth. Now, that's not great. It's not great at all. But we do have a cup final to go finish off here with. Let's see if we can win it. Win at least that, you know. Win something in the season. And then next season, we'll have to regroup and try and get ourselves back up the table and back into the Champions League because that is the whole goal of this series. And unfortunately, we're not even in it this uh, for, the, for the next season. So let me just go check the team. I want to just see. So I think that is going to be the team for now. Cabral is actually not a bad player using him in the game there. He's not that bad. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the team as it is like that. So... Let's see how we get on. Uh, we're going to quick sim this. And Fika, we win the cup. 1-0. Cabrel comes on and gets the winner. Which I will take that. We won, so we won a trophy in the first season. But unfortunately, we got knocked out of the Champions League. And we didn't finish in the Champions League spots for the next season. So we're going to have to regroup. Hopefully, we can go back into the second season and try and win the league. And try and get back into the Champions League as quick as possible. So... That's season one wrapped up. Let's move on into season two. Right then, guys. Season two's transfer business for me has completed. And I'm going to show you what I have done. Joao Mario went to Man United for £24 million. I mean, for someone that's a 31 and he was just declining in rating and stats, £24 million is a bargain, I think. Uh, Florentino, £30 million to Chelsea. Um, two other players, the younger players, are playing ahead of him. I thought I'd just take the money while I could. Musa, another player he didn't really get a look in last season so 15 million for him Neto, he was on loan i just kind of sold him straight away three million to luton uh teng stead again he didn't even he was on loan i think and he didn't even well he was on the reserves and just never had a game so i sold him nerez another one i could have probably kept nerez and used him but to be honest 31 million from buying i was like you know what I'll just take the money uh and just improve the signings which as you can see Guardiol did come to us from Man City for £53 million, which is a massive signing for us. He'll go alongside Antonio Silva. Uh, next, obviously, these young lads were just trying to loan out as much as possible. A massive signing. Davy Simmons from PSG to Benfica for £82 million. Now, a lot of money, but he'll go straight into the cam spot because Di Maria has uh, retired uh, or left the club. He just wasn't there when I came in the next season. So he will go into that spot. Um, two, two big signings, which can hopefully help us. Otamendi has gone to Al Nazar, four million pound, 36 years old. I mean, I thought I was just, gonna, I let him go to somewhere like that. Um, 
get as much money as he can. Uh, and then Verbergen, 24 million. I mean, a keeper who is only 21, got a really, really high potential. So hopefully he can be the man to help us stop the goals going in. So that is what the transfer situation was like for the, C uh, for the summer window. I'm going to show you what the team will be looking like going into season two. So a lot of similar faces to be honest Guardiola comes in Simmons comes in and obviously the new keeper comes in so the bench is obviously not looking that good in terms of quality but I know we've got some good players on the bench who can help us through the season so what we're going to do now simulate through the season for season two and see where we end up fingers crossed we do end up in well the top spot to get Champions League because that's what we need um anyway so that's the team that's the transfers. Let's see how we get on in Season 2. Right then, guys. As you can see, it is the last game of the season. And we're currently sat second in the league. Unfortunately, we won't be able to catch Porto regardless if we win or draw or lose. Uh, or even if they win or lose or draw. Uh, unfortunately, we're not just there. And it's a proven from last season. I do want to go and look at the standings, obviously, in everything else. So, uh, let's go look at the cup. Obviously, where were the holders? We didn't even get to the quarterfinals. Oh, God. We got knocked out by Moranens in the round of 16, which is not what you want to see. Let's see Europa League where we ended up. Unfortunately, we were out in the round of 16 to Athletic Club. Oh, that's an Athletic. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Atletico Bilbao won on penalties, which is not what you want to see. So, finishing second. I don't know if that gives you... I think that does that give you a qualifying round in the Champions League in the Portuguese League? I'm not too sure. Also, we finished fourth and we managed to get Europa League. So I'm not too sure if we can actually try and qualify. I think that is what the green thing means. Anyway, either way, we're going to get that opportunity, which because Sporting are there with us as well. So before we do actually get into the end of the season, I do want to go look at the squad hub and look at stats. I actually forgot to do this at the end of last season. So top goal scorer, Ganacho of 20. Wow, Arujo was actually our second top goal scorer. Wow. Willy Nonto with 13. Koku with 11. Simmons with 10. Uh, our right back was actually had six. Wow, Broby, our starting striker, and he had three. Did he not start? Wow, it seems like he didn't really play as much then. Did he, did he play more than he did? Wow. Assists, who got the top assist? Simmons, Ganacho's there. Okay, okay that's quite interesting because um, Broby didn't really start for us last season, which is kind of interesting. So... We're going to move on into the last game of the season. Uh, that is the lineup for now. I'm going to quick sim this, obviously. Let's see if we win. And we win 2 1 in the last game of the season. Ganacho and Broby with the goals. That keeps us in second place for the season. Even though we didn't win the league, I still feel like we've done enough to like progress for the next season. Because if you check the standings now, we finished second. Two points behind Porto. It's not, it's not great. But. We look at the overall things. They wanted us to win the league. We came second. Everything else we did well with. Obviously, long term, we need to do this with the youth players. But, I mean, yeah. They're probably going to have a go at me for not doing things like this. I mean, I'm trying to buy players, but then also sell players. So, the confidence rating is not high for them. But, I mean, we finished second. So, I, I can't. And then we should get Champions League qualification. So, there's nothing really they can complain with. Anyway, that's the end of season three. Uh, season two. We're going to now move on into season three right then guys as you can see here transfers for season three in the summer have been completed as you can see first signing for us was Adiemi for 52 million from Dortmund I think he'll be a really good addition to the team uh, he can play center forward and obviously left mid and right mid I think I'm going to start him on the right wing just because I think we need to kind of maybe bench Nonto and have someone who's a bit better than him to start uh, Ajuro he left 32 million. I mean, I'll take that. He was doing all right for us the last the season before. But, I mean, I'll take the money all day long. Uh, Turbin, 55 million release clause was paid. And I was like, you know what? I could easily... I'm not starting him anymore. I'll take the 55. Because I could have easily just gave him a new contract and then he would have stayed. But we've got that other young keeper who can just be on the backup for the... Uh, like, the, the main keeper that we bought in the previous one. So that's fine. Ramos, now this is a massive signing because he is now back at Benfica. 65 million from PSG. He will be our starting striker. 
uh, for this coming season. Bernardo, we left him go for 2.6 to uh, El Hali. Again, I mean, he's never going to play for us. He was on loan and he came back and he never played. So that's fine. Uh, one of the youth players on loan. I did have to buy three players from Asia. So ignore these two. They're just there to get the board happy with me, which you can see in the top left are happy with me. Uh, there's the other one. This guy went on loan, another youth player. And then Archie Gray, another player. He signed from Lille, who's obviously he's at Leeds in real life. Good young prospect, £9 million. Just to have a bit of squad depth and a bit of youth in the team. And another player to get loaned out. So, without further ado, season three is upon us. We are in the Champions League. So I've seen the draw. Uh, we, we've got Barcelona, PSG and Slavia Prague. So, I mean, the group stage is quite extreme. Other than that, we're going to go straight to the end of the season and see where we end up. Hopefully, we can get out of that group, if you want to call it the group of death. Uh, try and maybe win the Portuguese Cup again. And hopefully, we win the league this year. I think our team is good enough to do so. So, let's jump into Season 3 and see how we get on. Right, guys. We're at the end of the season. And what I can see is that we're in the final of the Portuguese Cup. And we have also managed to beat Bayern Munich over two legs which I think means yes we've made it to the Champions League final which is the main goal of this rebuild to win the Champions League and we play Spurs which is quite an interesting one where did we finish in the table though that is the question oh well this is the Portuguese cup so we're in the final of that let me just change this to this league and we finished top with 86 points only losing two games so we finally won the league it only took us the three seasons to do so but i think with the team we have is it is a really good squad six points ahead of sporting in second and we're also now in the cup final so i'm going to quickly go look at the player stats as you can see look at the team there oh my god that team is insane so many 87 rated uh, players there uh so we're gonna go have a look at the squad hub I'm going to go look at the player stats for the season. So top goal scorer for us was Ramos with 28. And Abadiemi with 18. Ganacho 16. Kochu 11. Simmons 8. And then a couple of others with lower stats. Top assists. I think we could already see that one with Ganacho. Kochu 11. Abadiemi 7. Ramos 7. Simon 6. So everyone kind of getting involved. Ganacho up 3 ratings. Kochu up 2 to 87. Wow. Abadiemi up 3. Ramos up two, Simon's up two. Pretty much everyone's gone up two or at least, yeah, at least two. So that's great to see. So while we're here, match day, we're going to go simulate the cup final. I think we should comfortably win this. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we do. And for the second time in this sit in this video, we have won the Portuguese Cup. Joao Neves, Cochu and Xavi Simmons getting the goals. 3-1 winners, two-time champions in this video. So... We have won that. Now, it's down to the all-important Champions League final against Tottenham. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simulate up to the game. I'm going to play the game, and then I'm going to clip up the highlights of the goals and whatever happens in the game. So, fingers crossed we can win the Champions League. We've won the Portuguese Cup twice. We've won the league. Now, it's down to the Champions League. Champions League, sorry. Let's see how we get on. Right then, guys, we're here at the Champions League final against Tottenham. We are going with this squad for the game. I mean, this has pretty much been the starting eleven for like the whole season. Uh, so we are going to use this team. Hopefully, we can get the win and lift the trophy at the end of this game. Let's see how we get on. Oh, that's a great ball through to Adiemi, and he's through on goal. It's Adiemi. Can he get the shot away? It's goal! Adiemi with the finish. 1-0 to Benfica in the Champions League final. It's a lovely ball played through from the right back. Adiemi had the pace of the, I think, Regulons at left back there. And uh, Romero, I think, as well. You're never going to catch him. What a finish from Adiemi. Make it 1-0. Champions League final. Benfica against Tottenham. It's too good. Lovely start. Here come Tottenham now. Pedro Porro down the right-hand side. Going to have to do some defending here. Kuleski played backwards now Boyberg inside it's Basuma it's Son it's Basuma it's Basuma oh what a save from the keeper oh no we've given the ball straight back to Tottenham what are we doing there it's Madison it's a good tackle is the keeper going to get there yes he is lucky for Benfica there we'll play that back down the line Ganacho to Bar 
Oh, I was going to square it back. It's Adeyemi again. Oh, I thought it went in. And it's wide. Can I get there or not? No. Boyberg now on the ball. Oh, that's a great tackle from Joao Victor. Going to wait for that run of Adeyemi. He should have the pace here of the defender. Gonzalo Ramos is through in the middle. One defender to beat. He's not going to catch him. Ramos! And he scores! Ramos to make it 2-0 for Benfica. What a goal. I don't know what the defender was doing in the middle of the part there, but that does not matter because we see ourselves 2-0 up now in this Champions League final against Tottenham. Great goal from Ramos. Nearly there. Tottenham now. Last chance saloon for them. It's Pedro Porro down the right-hand side. He's cut it back. It's Holsek. Kulaveski. Porro. I think that should be it. We just need to get the ball back and kick it out. It's a great tackle. Clear it. Surely, yes, we've done it. We've won the Champions League with Benfica. Third season into the save, and we've managed to win it. We struggled in the first season. We didn't even get out of the group, I don't think. Second season, we didn't even qualify for Champions League. And the third season, after finishing second, we have managed to win the Champions League final with Benfica. Now, we just need to get one more. That's the goal. We've managed to win one. And you see the celebrations there. This team, I actually really enjoyed playing with there. The players are really, really good to play with. Some really, um, tip well, some, a couple of typical players you sign, or most people sign, but a couple of others that are a bit different. But nonetheless, I've really enjoyed that game. That was really fun. Hopefully next season, I mean, we've already won the treble. So we just want to try and win maybe one more and then see where we end up there. But, I mean, we've won everything this season. The league, the cup, and the main important trophy was the Champions League. As Fabio, not Fabio Silva, Antonio Silva lists the trophy. And Benfica are crowned champions. And we have one more Champions League to try and get in the next few seasons. Which I'm hoping we can do with this team. Might have to make some additions to the, cl uh, the club. And maybe sell some players off. So, we're going to jump into that last part of... The celebrations here i'll let you guys watch this as we kind of i've never actually watched the champions league cup uh, cut scenes to be honest in this new uh, eafc which is quite nice to see obviously we've won won the treble can't complain about that so what we're going to do now is going to jump into the end of the season and we're going to start season four with benfica Right then guys, as you can see before I end the season there, you can see we finished first in the league. Winner of the Portuguese Cup and we won the Champions League with Benfica. So we're going to end the season there and we're going to jump straight into season four and see if we can try and grab that second Champions League. Right guys, season four transfers. Here you go, summer window. Broby left for 28 million. He did ask to leave. Uh, same with Gusto. So I mean, I had no choice. I kind of just let them leave. They didn't really start for us in last season. So... I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, we've also learned out um, one of our left wingers. Again, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I'm going to just absolutely butcher it. We've sold a couple of uh, youth players uh, just to try to raise some funds uh, for like one of the objectives. Because as you can see, top left, they're not very happy with me, even though, like, you know, I just, yeah. I'm trying to do these challenges or objectives, sorry. Um, so they, they're happy with me. Anyway, moving on. Gavi, 121 million from Chelsea, age 22. Go straight into our centre mid uh, role. And that is the biggest signing I think we've made in terms of funds, if I'm correct. Again, a loading off a load of players, free transfer players. And I've brought in a load of free Portuguese youth players because the board were moaning that I haven't signed anyone that is Portuguese for this season. So I had to do that. So we only really signed Gavi this season because, uh, yeah, because I, I just spent all the money on with that we had on him to be honest that upgrade the team the team is already good enough to go on and win so that is what we've done we're going to simulate to the end of the season hopefully we can try and get in that champions league final again to finish off the season finish off the video and finish off a great run with Benfica. so i'll see you guys in a bit 
Right guys, we made it to the end of the season in season four. As you can see, we lost to Bayern Munich in the semi-final of the Champions League. We are here. It's the Portuguese Cup final, however, but the main goal, unfortunately, we didn't make the Champions League final. Portuguese League, we finished first with 83 points. Once again, we've won the league back to back. Can we win? The League Cup back to back. I mean, oh, back to back to back. We won it three times in a row. I mean, look at that team. That team is insane. Simulate the game and we win 2 0. Unfortunately, though, we don't win the Champions League this season. We come short. Bayern Munich knocking us out. I think. I wonder who they play in the final, though. That is quite frustrating to see, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to move on into season five. If we don't win the Champions League this time, we're going to end the video there. But we're going to try one more time with Benfica and see if we can win the Champions League. So we're going to quickly check the squad and the stats, actually. I forgot to show you that for this season. Top goal scorer is Xavi Simmons, Ramos, Adiemi, Ganacho. All of the, a lot of the same players up there with the um, same amount of goals. Nearly a 90 rated now, Simons. So we're going to move on into Season 5 and hopefully we can win the Champions League for the second time. Like I said, if not, we'll just end the video there. But... We'll hopefully do it. Let's see if we can. Let's see how we get on. Well, I mean, I don't really know what's going on, guys, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is going to be the end of the video because Benfica have decided to sack me because confidence in you is very low, even though we just went to the Champions League semi-final, won the league, won the Portuguese Cup three times, league twice, Champions League once. It's because I don't think I do. I don't really look at the objectives, like, you know, like the player youth players and stuff like that. I think that's the problem. Same with the QPR one. I don't really pay attention to the objectives. Um, but to be honest, with this Benfica one, the team was a really, really good. And the overall, uh, like, the players turned out really well. The signings were really well. Got to four seasons. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I'm a bit annoyed, to be honest, to be honest because I was really enjoying this. Um, rebuild and Benfica have decided to sack me which again I don't really know why I would love to know why if anyone in the comments could let me know is it because I don't do all of the objectives even though I did every single objective last year apart from make 15 million off youth player profits which uh, I mean I just didn't have the players that were worth that enough so I couldn't do it so and then yeah so they've sacked me I, I just don't get it so, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave the video there, guys, which is a bit of a shame, but I did really, really enjoy this Benfica rebuild. I'm actually happy because we did win the Champions League, we won the league twice, and we won the Portuguese Cup three times. So, the main goal was to win the Champions League. We did that. I was going to go for the two, came short in the season before in the semi-final, and now, start of the next season, they decide to sack me. So, can't do anything there. I'm going to have to try and maybe figure out how I can get around doing these objectives at certain clubs because both times I've been sacked it in within a couple of seasons I mean at least at least this one we get to the fifth season but yeah it's a bit painful I don't really get why anyway make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the video please let me know if you enjoyed and any other teams you want me to rebuild uh, because I really do enjoy making these type of videos even though they do take longer to make than the normal career mode videos I do upload I think this is going forward. I'm going to try and put a lot more of these videos on the channel. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate the support so far this year. And yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.